Most likely, if you're seeing this video, you're a star seed. If you're coming to my channel, most likely you're an old soul or a star seed anyway. Hear me out when I'm sharing about this message. So, I have been feeling like crap the last few days. Um, my daughter had a baby on the 19th, the night of the 19th, actually in the a.m. hour. So, going into the 20th, I started feeling really bad about 3 a.m., body aches, earache, throat, uh, feeling weird, dizziness, felt very, very, very nauseous, extremely hot, 3-3 three, three guys, excuse me, look that up on Sacred Scribes, but I always meditate when I'm sick, when I take off work, and I meditated a lot that day, and basically what I was shown was, and I've been shown this multiple times, but I didn't quite understand what Spirit was trying to tell me until this time, that there is multiple existences that we exist in okay we are multi-dimensional beings we exist in many realities simultaneously and here on earth we incarnate as star seeds as old souls as light workers as way showers things of that sort okay that's meant to help this planet to evolve the purpose for the healing is so that we can raise our vibration the purpose for when we go through no copper no no the purpose for when we go through these times of integration or downloads for upgrades to our dna is so that we can integrate the higher dimensional parts of ourself is basically what spirit has shown me within the past two days with that comes along uh you know first of all you're integrating multiple different things it could be palladians one uh time it could be that you have connections with the arcturians the andromedans maybe the cirrus star system i mean all these different multi-dimensional beings and planets that you have existed in or either existing in now are what was the word that tethering i heard we are tethering the energy from those times so that we can create a species here on earth that is kind of like consistent of all the different dimensions it is a super race or will be a super humanoid race one that is highly intelligent very technical technologically i can't even say it advanced uh one that has multiple types of abilities or uh gifts so to speak like telekinesis clairvoyant clairsense clairsentient, clairaudient, um, telekinesis, being able to move objects, um, just all kinds of things. Eventually being able to levitate, um, controlling the elements, all kinds of magical type of stuff. Okay, 303 guys, look that up. But anyway, when we are going through these major shifts, and we may not be able to like put a finger on why exactly we're going through this we feel like we have a really bad cold or a flu this is when we are integrating those star seed connections so that we can become a more advanced being here on earth okay so that we can help others to evolve and ascend through these things that we've experienced and and evolved through so that they too can evolve and ascend through it eventually the whole planet will will awaken doesn't mean that it's all going to happen in this lifetime for us however what we do awaken in this lifetime when we come back we already start off with all of that knowledge that we've already gained all of that dna that we've already awakened we are already you know that much advanced when we are reborn so for some of us this is one of our last few lifetimes for others of us this may be our last time lifetime here you know um however we all have a part to play right now and when we're going through these shifts if we just stop and meditate long enough and ask and set those intentions like show me why i'm going through this um type of transformation why does my body feel like shit but i yet yet i don't know why i'm sad at times why i'm feeling um these different emotions that i'm feeling sometimes a lot of times they're saying right now they're telling me right now a lot of times it's because of the integration of one of these multi-dimensional aspects of ourself so again we're creating a super human race one that's more intelligent one that's more peaceful one that's more christ conscious uh and you know more advanced so we have to go through these things a lot of times when we are integrating 
and we meditate and we ask, you know, what are we integrating at this time? We may get, like there's been several times when I've meditated, but I didn't realize that every single time that I was going through something like this, it was me integrating things. But there's been time when I was meditating about why I'm going through certain things and Palladians connected with me. And then the Octurians, actually the Octurians were one of the very first uh, beings that connected with me. And then the Zetas and the Reptilians. And I mean, and the list went on and on and on. And I had to decipher between, because I would hear things on the internet like all Reptilians are bad. That's not true. There are certain aspects of the reptilian race, like the dragons, that are very powerful, very much healers, um, very, very connected with the earth. So there's aspects of those things that we would like to awaken to help us to become a more advanced being here. So meditation's where it's at to figure out why you're going through the energy, energy shift that you're going through, why you're integrating the different types of things. And sometimes, a lot of times, we'll re, we will revisit things from our past that we have already healed, already went through. And a lot of times it's just because we are losing density. So as we lose density, some more of that stuff has to fall off. Not that we haven't already worked through it, but it doesn't mean that it's still not instilled in our genetics, in our DNA in some way, shape, or form. So those things are brought to the surface and uh, I guess, in, in my perception, a final release. Okay, I hope that you guys got something out of this message. Much love to you guys. Have a wonderful evening. If you're going through an integration time right now for one of these um, star seed connections, then drink plenty of water. Rest when you can. Your body's going to feel like you're going through a major cold or a bad uh, start of a bad flu or something of that sort. You're going to be extremely tired. May even have times when uh, you're having like sinus type pressure and headaches, a lot of pooping and peeing. Um, but mainly just feeling really disconnected, maybe not, not a whole lot of thoughts in your mind, but when the thoughts are coming to your mind, it's those things that you're kind of revisiting and then they're just kind of releasing. So just be present in it, present in it. Don't try to, um, really dissect or trisect, uh, what you're thinking of or what is coming to the forefront. Just be present in it. And it will help you to get through it and clear it and release it that much faster. The more that water that you drink, the better off that you're going to be. The more rest that you get, the better off that you're going to be. So I hope everybody has a wonderful evening. Much love to you guys. Bye.